filed this exhibit, taken from video released by House Select Committee, shows a photo of President Donald Trump in an overcoat as he returns to Oval Office of White House. In Washington after speaking on Ellipse on January 6, 2021, Trump, frontrunner for 2024 Republican presidential nomination, refused to say on NBC's Meet Press how he spent Jan. 6, 2021, after riot began and whether he made phone calls as his supporters stormed presidency. American democracy. It'll tell people later at an appropriate time. Trump told moderator Kristen Welker after asking if he had spent that afternoon watching the attack on television in the White House dining room. Trump's former aide said he locked himself in the room outside the Oval Office to monitor himself, sometimes even rewinding and rewatching portions. In the interview recorded Thursday at Trump's golf club in New Jersey, Trump declined to say who he was calling as the violence continued. Why would I tell you this? In response to Welker pressuring him to remain publicly silent during violence, Trump said he made good statements the day of attack. Trump's supporters, fueled by his lies about the 2020 presidential election, stormed the building as Congress prepared to certify Democrat Joe Biden's victory. Trump faces federal criminal charges for his efforts to overturn his loss in this election but he does not face charges related to the insurrection. Trump said he might consider pardoning some of the rioters charged for their actions that day. More than 1,000 people have been charged with federal crimes related to the Jan. 6 riot, and more than 600 have pleaded guilty or been convicted. I'll take care of them. And I certainly could if I think it's appropriate to pardon them. The former president said. Trump also said he would consider pardoning former Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio, who was sentenced to 22 years in prison for a failed plot to keep Trump in power. Trump said Tarrio was treated horribly. According to the full transcript of the NBC interview, which included unaired portions, in pushing to overturn election, Trump relied on a group of outside allies who undertook what federal prosecutors called a criminal plot to ulently overturn the 2020 results, rather than relying on vice of lawyers in White House who warned him about it. Accept your loss to Biden. In the interview, Trump was asked why he didn't listen to these lawyers. I didn't respect them, Trump said, but I respected others. I respected the many people who said the election was rigged. Trump said he listened to both his gut and different people to guide his actions based on election results. His appearance on NBC was Trump's first broadcast network interview since leaving office and marked. Welker's first show as host Trump also said he was pleased hear Russian President Vladimir Putin's recent remarks praising Trump for being re-elected to the White House and suggesting he would negotiate an end. Russia's war.